Once you have ready and approved original captions for a project, you'll be able to translate them into subtitles. Ideally, at this point, you've made any necessary edits and revisions to your original captions. And that's important to flag because the original captions you use are really going to serve as the basis for the translations that you go on to create within Caption Hub. To kick off my translation work, I'm going to go ahead and move into the Translations tab here. First, I want to attach the term base that I've created for the languages that I'll be translating into today. I can do so by navigating over here in the upper right to the menu cog and selecting Attach Term Bases. Here I've teed up an example term base that I will apply to my translations. As a reminder, I've created the particular term base you just saw by navigating to the menu icon where my team's abbreviation is and selecting in here, term bases. This is where I can add, modify, and adjust my term base as needed. As a helpful reminder, term bases contain terms, brand names, and model names, for example, that will bias your translations and ensure consistency in your terminology when creating subtitles in new languages. So returning back to my project, I know that I've successfully attached my term bases, and I'll now want to go ahead and select Add Translation. You'll see here the translation provider that I've selected as my default translation engine. I can tap in here for a dropdown of all other machine translation providers that are available to me to choose from. Again, I currently have Amazon Translate as my provider, so I'll leave that. You'll notice that Amazon has a number of provider-specific features that influence my translation output, and we encourage you to learn more about each of these by tapping into the question mark, which will give you additional context on each setting. Below, you'll see a list of all the languages available for your team. And just a quick reminder that all of what you see here from the translation provider to the languages in this list are both elements that have been set up as the default for your team. And these can be changed within your team settings by a super user or producer at any time. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and translate into French for France as well as Spanish for Spain. I've selected the two languages that I want to translate into, and I'll go ahead and select Create Translations. My translations are now ready for me to take a look at. Let's jump into my Spanish translations. So first off, I see here that my term base was pre-applied for machine translation and is now highlighted in the UI, letting me know so. Remember, linguists will only be able to see and edit the translations that match the language proficiencies that they've been assigned to. So in this example, a Spanish linguist assigned to and working within this project would have access to view and edit these captions within the caption editor. That's the view and screen I'm currently in now. Said linguist would also be able to see Brompton Bicycle highlighted in the UI just as we do and they'd have the ability to edit captions here, like so. Please refer your team and linguists to our tutorials on how to use the editor to adjust captions in the timeline, as well as here in the spreadsheet view for more guidance on how to make changes to your translations. 